Hello, universe. I'm Dr. Mom, and this is Barry the Little Spacecraft. Hey, Barry, do you want to read a story about the moon and big dreams? The Little Spacecraft by Dr. Mom, that's me, illustrated by Shauna Capel. This book is based on the real Bereshit mission to the moon by Space IL. Dedicated to the little dreamers, the girls and boys who dare, who try, who fail, and try again, to the ones who aspire to reach new places far beyond the horizon, and to their parents who instill in them the confidence to know that no matter if they succeed or fail, they will always have a safe space to land. Barry the little spacecraft was very excited. She had waited in the toy store for such a long time, hoping someone would choose her. But she had begun to wonder if it would ever happen. Was it because she was so small? Perhaps they didn't know that Barry had a very special mission to reach the moon. But that day, a little girl named Maya picked her up off the shelf and brought her home. The little spacecraft hoped her new friend could help her get to the place she had always dreamed of. Then something terrible happened. When Maya got home, her twin brother Ben tried to grab her new toy. You can't have a spaceship, said Ben. You're a girl. Spaceships are for boys. Girls can play with whatever they want, Maya shouted, holding on tight. They both pulled so hard that the box tore open and Barry's pieces went flying. Anyone can play with a spaceship, said Mom. Now clean up your toys and come down for dinner. The children threw everything into the toy cupboard and closed the door. It was very dark. Barry couldn't see anything. She wondered if she was already on the moon. Then she heard the other toys whispering. This was definitely not the moon. Barry was nervous. She didn't know if the children had found all her pieces that had scattered. Without each of her tools, she would never be able to follow her dream and go to the moon. Suddenly, there was a bright light. It came from the headlights of a dump truck. There was a unicorn at the wheel and a group of dolls watching from the back, each one bigger than the next. What are you? asked the biggest doll in an unfriendly voice. I'm a spacecraft. I'm built to reach the moon, said Barry. The dolls all looked at her and burst out laughing. The unicorn laughed too. You get to the moon, said the unicorn. You're too small. We already have a space rocket and he's much bigger and stronger than you. I'm not too small, Barry said quietly. But the toys didn't hear her. They were too busy laughing. Just then a great big rocket appeared out of the darkness. He towered over Barry. Space is for big rockets, he growled. A tiny little spacecraft like you could never reach the moon. I'm not even built to get there. Barry wasn't going to let a big, mean rocket bully her. I know I can do it, she said bravely. But it's hopeless without all of my tools. What's this? asked a rubber duck, waddling into the light. Is this your space skateboard? That's not a skateboard, Barry laughed. That's my solar panel. It catches the light from the sun and powers my tools. You can't fly without an engine to push you along, said the truck. Where's your engine? Hey, called Barry to a passing giraffe wearing a funny looking hat. That's not a hat, that's my engine. Sorry, said the giraffe taking it off. He found it at the bottom of the cupboard. I thought it looked cool. Well, you don't have tanks to hold the fuel to power your engine, said Rocket. I do, said Barry. They look like four giant beach balls. The toys searched until they found Barry's fuel tanks stuck behind a book. Four little robots took turns picking them up and bringing them over. Wait a minute, said Rocket, still suspicious. How will you find your way to the moon? It's so far away and there aren't any street signs in space. The toys all began whispering again. I have a star tracker that uses the stars as a map, so I know where I am, said Barry. And my radio antenna helps me talk to everyone on Earth. The toys fell silent. 
the unicorn dug Barry's star tracker and antenna out of a puzzle box and fixed them into place. Rocket began to look impressed. With the solar panels powering my tools, my fuel tanks powering my engine, and the star tracker guiding me, all I need to do is to get into orbit and I can reach the moon, said Barry. What's an orbit? asked the unicorn. I know, Rocket exclaimed. First, I blast off into space with my big engines. Then I go in circles around the Earth. That's called an orbit. Exactly, said Barry. But while some rockets stay in circles close to the Earth, I can use my engines to go in bigger and bigger circles until I get all the way to the moon. So you see, even though I'm very small, that's how I can reach the moon. The toys all cheered. Even Rocket looked excited. Barry was very happy. And last but not least, said Barry proudly, my flag. So I always remember home, even when I'm far away. Barry and the other toys then shut their eyes to rest for the night, dreaming about big adventures. Suddenly, Barry heard something moving toward her in the dark. It was Rocket. What did he want? You need to fly up very fast and very high to get into orbit, Barry, he whispered. How are you going to do that without giant engines like mine? Barry didn't know what to say. She wasn't sure. If she couldn't get into orbit, how would she reach the moon? The next morning, Maya rushed to the toy cupboard and took Barry out of her torn box. It looks awfully small, said Ben, frowning. How can such a tiny spacecraft get all the way to the moon? She can't even get into orbit. Ben, I have an idea, said Maya. With your rocket's powerful engines and Barry's special tools, they could complete the moon mission together. Maya put Barry on rocket. The little spacecraft looked like she could go anywhere. Great idea, Maya. You're the smartest sister I ever had, said Ben. I'm the only sister you ever had, said Maya. And they both laughed. Barry smiled too. She was small, but with the help of her friends, she was sure she could do big things all the way to the moon. Now, Barry had a big dream, and I'm sure that you have big dreams too. Did you know that the real Beret Sheet spacecraft really did get all the way to the moon using each of her special tools? Tell us your big dreams down below, and don't forget to like and subscribe.